Mics are hot. We actually started last week with um, infrastructure, um, and I believe that we left off um, probably in the beginning discussions of transportation. Would you say, Mr. Fleischman, that's true? Uh, yes, that is true. Find exactly uh, uh, where we left off myself. So we finished infrastructure? Yes, we did. Okay. So this is uh, February 13th, the uh, year meeting. So we're going to go for transportation and capital improvements, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's, that's our goal. I know, Jim, we jumped a page and then we went back, but I thought we were at 7.2. Because we went through page 7-11, um, and then 7.7, .7, I have... Uh, we said we would address 2.6 later, and we went from 2.5 to 2.7 in transportation. Uh, Mayor, before we start, I, I, I'd like to uh, uh, introduce Patricia Bain. She, uh, she's the former director of the Palm Beach County Planning Division, and she's, uh, she's uh, going to be working with me on uh, drafting the final comprehensive plan amendments as, as well as uh, uh, other projects um, as they come to us in the future. So we're going to, uh, we're going to be the uh, land resource management team from, uh, from now on. <clears throat> All right. And uh, also, uh, at, the, at the last meeting, uh, when we were going, going through the uh, transportation element, um, I was asked to provide uh, several pieces of information, which I, uh, I did put on your desk. Now, I, uh, um, I'm, I'm recommending that we not necessarily go through all of that information now, because we, we could spend the rest of the rest of the meeting uh, discussing uh, traffic counts and, and um, level of service and all that. Um, I, I think maybe the best way to, uh, to look at this information is to uh, take it with you and then, and then when we come back, um, we, uh, we can go through it. Uh, I think the most, uh, the most effective way to run this meeting is to try to get through the elements, um, which was the original game plan for the for, for the council to go through uh, page, page by page and uh, uh, make uh, make changes. Once we've done that, then uh, then we'll bring the, uh, the the revised plan back for a workshop or two just to make sure that uh, we got all of the changes and we could incorporate um, some of some of the information that I passed out out tonight. Um, uh, in there as well, unless, of course, you want to uh, discuss some of these uh, uh, handouts. Now, after the first meeting, you emailed us a summary of changes that we made at that meeting. Right. I haven't seen one since. Oh, I do it every uh, uh, every meeting. This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This yeah, document every... right here, laying in front of the yeah. okay. document, laying in front of your desk. So this is the summary of changes. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean... Uh, uh, like for example, if you look at if you look at page two, where it says policy six point two point four, delete policy, rather than rewriting that and and doing a strike through uh, uh, of the whole text there, I just said delete policy. Okay. When, uh, when there revi were revisions, uh, 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 additions, and deletions that that we needed to to. Um, uh, to, to actually look at, then I did include those. So what is the capital improvement element that has the highlights? Those are possible changes? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, back, uh, back we at, haven't gone through that yet, right? No, we have not. But okay. um, at, the, at the very first meeting, I, I, I mentioned the fact that uh, we don't have to have the five-year schedule of improvements uh, in the okay. capital improvements element. And I sort of alerted you to the fact that we can take that out. And uh, most of those changes are related to doing that. 
Okay. Um, before we go on, I just want to note that um, you have a graphic defining level of service um, in more visual and narrative terms. I'd also like to tell you I have an email here that provides the FDOT um, definition of levels of service. Um, Council Member Miles brought these matters up at the last meeting, which is why I handed out that information, and I'm going to pass over um, an email with some very, very brief descriptions excerpted from DOT for <coughs> level of service C and level of service D and level of service E. For you. Okay. Let me go. All right. Laura, you, uh, where did we leave off? He edits the 6.4.4. Was what was the last one that we took any action on? Was 6.4.4? Yes. Okay. I thought we got into the beginning of transportation. Uh, yes, we did. Now we got through um, 6.4.4, unless I... I think there's an error in the in your memo on that element, Jim. Yeah, I, uh, I think, yeah, there could be an error in, in my numbering. In the numbering, I yeah. Couldn't, I couldn't find those what <laughs> in, I, in right. my book. So what I have in, in my notes is that we got through policy 2.5.3.3. Decided to address objective 2.6 at a later time and skip to 2.7.1 and 2.7.8 are the last two things I had n notes on. Um, so it looks like we ended at 2.7.8 but going back to 2.6 at some time. Well, I also have that 2.7 need, I would like mm -hmm. to add that Section 2.7 needs to be replaced by the road classification system that was um, reviewed and approved by council um, probably about two years ago. That's 2.7.1. Yes. Yeah, that's the categories, Seven the road classifications. Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, 2.6, we skipped that. Are we ready to tackle that with... Um, that puts us at 2.8. Well, but we skipped 2.6. Town attorney said we skipped 2.6 last time. Why did we skip it? What's? I think we were ready to end, but there were two easy comments on the next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we jumped ahead a little. All right, that's that's my, comments. my recollection. I, uh, Yeah, because there was a couple things on 2-20 that we struck. <laughs> right. The right-of-way protection. Okay, so we're going back to 2.6. Yeah, we need to okay. go through it. We can't just yes. skip over and ensure the future development does not encroach upon existing rights-of-way. Okay. And this was basically where, that, excuse me, where we said the trail as it stands now is a ride at your own risk and future considerations may be adopted. That's how I remember this. Yes. This it is not is, related. Okay. It, uh, 2 .3, and that section for greenways and equestrian trails that starts at 2-15 is where a lot of those changes will be made. Um, but again, that is related to right of ways to some extent, but this is separate and more broad than just the equestrian trails. Yeah, you're okay. in 2.6, the right of way protection that this is talking about is similar to the ordinance that you all um, approved. Gosh, it's been almost two years ago now, 
as well where um, you prohibited interconnection between mm -hmm. jurisdiction roadways that cross jurisdictional boundaries. So that's where this fits in is that that ordinance regulation would fit in accordance with these policies under 2.6. Yep, uh, Mayor. When we uh, when we bring back the staff recommendations, we, uh, we do have that that policy that we're proposing to be incorporated in this section. When you say policy, you mean the ordinance we approved two years ago? The, the, uh, yeah, the uh, the language mirrors that ordinance. Okay. <clears throat> You also have regulations, you know, about traffic studies to make sure that developments coming in don't have, uh, don't overburden the roadway system and that, the, all that type of thing carries into these policies. So number three, the town shall continue to obtain additional survey data on town roads as the basis for implementing future road improvements. We, what does that mean? I mean, so you get um, uh, traffic counts from time to time to make sure to see um, what the road. Um, oh, those type of surveys. Is. I'm yes. thinking survey. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, ro road traffic type of surveys oh, that, that surveys. are, are okay. surveying the impact on the road, so you know if the road needs to be improved in some way. Okay, I'm thinking. Uh, Land surveyor, <laughs> traffic survey. Okay, that makes sense. Makes total sense now. Okay. Excuse me. All right. So, Jim, can you, um, as an edit to this, put that ordinance in, and then send that with your updates in the next email? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. We uh, uh, we've already created the uh, we created a new policy that. Uh, that, that we're going to add to this section that uh, mirrors what was in that ordinance uh, pro prohibiting uh, connectivity uh, between the town and other jurisdictions. So will that be 2.6.4? Uh, I don't have it with me, but, but probably so. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, just make sure you include that when you send out the updates from tonight's meeting. Yep. Other comments on 2.6? 2.6.4 okay. 2 is where you're at right uh, now? Well, there is no point four. Jim's going to add that ordinance that we adopted um, securing the town boundaries. Oh, so good. That, that's going to be added yeah. as right of way protection. I'm going to add a policy there. So. Okay, so 2.7, you got through to which one? 2.7. We finished two and we started three. So 2.7.3? I mean chapter three. We finished all of two. And then started on three. Chapter three, infrastructure. Okay. Um, can I ask one question just before we go on? So securing the boundaries as is, as they are at this time? It, it's, it will be consistent. The language will be consistent with the ordinance you adopted two years ago. So okay, thank you. We finished the infrastructure element, and again, my notes say that we um, we did not finish infrastructure. We got halfway through, more like a third. My my notes say streamline to only necessary federal, state, and local agency requirements. Done. Um, I have notes on this all the way through to the end. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because we did infrastructure first. That was the first thing we started with, and then we went to transportation second and got through 2.7.8. That's what I have. 
Whether we finished. I've been wrong before. Whether we finished and just didn't have comments on the rest of it is possible too. But that's possible yeah. as well. I don't know, but I actually have a comment in 2.7. Hold on a minute. I show in 2.9.1. That's where I have my last comment from the review on page 2 21. That in 2.9.1. We removed the last sentence where it says the town will also plan internal roadways and cross access between parcels that will allow for more efficient travel. And that's the same comment for 2.7.8. That was the yeah, same sentence. Yeah, that was sentence. when I said yeah. to strike it. Yeah. Correct. So my notes have us passed, you know, have us all the way through that. But it was my appreciation um, that we wanted to go back through this section with a better understanding of level of service on the transportation. We That's were, sounding familiar. Right? That we were supposed to bring forward level of service information and we have done that. Um, and also... Um, so which section was that? It's transportation <laughs> and it's where there's reference to Okeechobee being level of service D. It's in it was concurrency 1. management. Yeah, 2.1. Okay. That's what I had in my notes about going back through that and having, um, you know, more of a data-driven kind of conversation and to get some detail. And Jim has provided that. And all of the information that he has provided um, is um, also graphically represented. A little picture I gave you, but it's all the same thing. Um, question uh, 2.7.5. Did you guys review that? Or because I know we're at 2.6. Um, item one old traffic operational deficiencies at Southern, not Southern. Reducing speed on Okeechobee and then implement town Okeechobee Boulevard policies. So um, uh, being that we've had, I think it's three head-on collisions in the past two months now. Linda Hughes got in a wreck on Friday, I think, um, in Ooh. the hospital. Um, she lives on Gruber. She was one of the first female jockeys in the country. Okay. Um, she lives in our town. She's paraplegic. So that is now From the... From that accident? Yeah. That's the third um, head-on that... Um, so is there a way... Uh, Marianne... Uh, well, I, I, I don't want to... I don't know if this is the place. I know a while back Marianne had mentioned like some stop signs on Okeechobee or something like that. Is this the place where we discuss it or because I've talked to a couple of residents and they're thinking maybe now that we don't have the roundabout that we could maybe put like three stop signs in Okeechobee in the beginning, the end, and one in the middle, maybe at D Road or something. Well, I had talked about the lights that I had talked about the light at D that we were supposed to be given that it was warranted and got never put in. No, so, I think that's off the table. So for this Westlake. is this is the place where you would talk about that it would be your policy to um, work with the county to install um, traffic calming or signalizations or some other type of um, right. breaks in traffic along Okeechobee through the town. Something like that is what you're looking for for your policies. So is there verbiage in here now um, in this 2.7? Because it did say implement, first of all, reduce speed on Okeechobee Boulevard. We've done that. <laughs> That is accomplished. Well, it says reduce speeding. Speeding. Well, so it's yeah, not, speeding. Yeah, just. But that was, but reducing the speed was hopefully what was going to reduce speeding, but I don't, what about? The language you're looking for, Phyllis, is on page 2-19, 2.75. 2. 2. 2.7.5. Yep. Okay. So 2.7.5. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's already in here. Yep. Okay, good. It 
Uh, Agreed, Jim. Uh, yeah, and we also, now, now if you look at uh, objective 1.1A in the future land use element, that uh, that's where we get into some some specifics about the character of Okeechobee. Okay. Um, that's, that's talking about uh, about a rural parkway, uh, uh, right right hand turn lanes at intersections. Yeah, well, I think we agreed that I don't think anybody liked the word parkway. Well, and you're talking about this. This is what was in the overlay. You want a center lane. I don't think that's. No. No, uh, no, we're not saying the center lane. We're just, we're saying keep it uh, keep it at two travel lanes. Okay. And then at uh, uh, either at every letter road or at uh, uh, alternative uh, whatever that we have right turn lanes, so uh, so that somebody turning right doesn't doesn't stop the flow of traffic. Well, Jim, the problem that's happening on Okeechobee now is. Um, we have residents that are pulling out of our side streets on Okeechobee, and we have people using Okeechobee to cut through in a hurry either to or from the acreage, sure. and they're passing at high speed. Well, and that, that's what's causing these, most of these accidents. Yeah. The reason I brought up the traffic lights <clears throat> is because whether it was Westlake or not, previous councils... Um, and I didn't copy it for everybody, but here's one little section that Ron Buckley commented on in the very beginning of the article. It says, Loxahatchee Groves Town Council agreed Tuesday to proceed with plans to put a light, a traffic What's the light, date? February 10th, 2012. Right. <laughs> that, that ship has what, sailed. No. What my point is, there's other ones. My point is your comment was Westlake agreed to put money to D road and a light. My point of bringing this up is regardless of who gives us funding, we have to, we've already slowed down the traffic. That's not working. Stop signs are not going to work on Okeechobee Boulevard. It's only going to create more people going around other people and it's going to create more issues. My point of this is, I want to read the first help, help part me, of it. Help me understand your I think theory. That's your, your opinion be, behind a stop sign. You have to come up to a stop sign and stop and go. And look both so ways. They're going. How, how okay, does go that, ahead. Just help me understand what you think will happen. Okay, let me let me read this first Robert, two sentences. Are you sentence. talking to Marianne or are you talking to Elizabeth? I, I will in a second. Okay, because you were looking that way. So I, I just want to read this. Space. I just want to read this two sentence from the other council. Loxahatchee Groves Town Council agreed Tuesday to proceed with plans to put a traffic light at Okeechobee and D Road. The goal was to allow gaps in traffic so drivers can enter Okeechobee with a higher degree of safety. The article goes on, and there's different ones throughout the years. My uh, of same council and different council because we've been chomping at this bit for a long time. Now, my point of being stop signs. Um, it's a suggestion, man. I, I, I know it's a suggestion, but he asked for my opinion as to why I would say no stop stop signs. A conversation that got taken over. Once. Okay, go ahead, and I'll go ahead. Do no, what you're going to do. Uh, my thought is gone at this point. Your thought is <laughs> stop signs. That's what you brought up. Well, okay. and you said that I said that I wanted or I would agree well, with you stop had signs. It up not long ago. I won't agree with stop signs, Okeechobee, and I'm going to say why, just like I didn't agree with roundabouts. There's enough frustration on Okeechobee Boulevard. You have, we have the county um, uh, chomping, wanting to move traffic. They're already predicting six to eight lanes on North Lake, and they've got people up in arms. So the next reliever roads, they've already widened Southern Boulevard. The next reliever road, we know they're going to come after Okeechobee Boulevard. They've already said that. So till 2036. So it stopped 2025 to, no, to five lane it and then, or to four lane it and then. Right now it's two lanes. And if you put a stop sign at a letter road, help me understand how that is 
You'd have to put stop signs at every single letter road. You'd have to block off so people cannot go around them because they're going to pass on the right. They're going to go through on the left, and probably with a head-on collision, somebody was going to pass where they shouldn't be passing. Can I? Where, what does Simmons and White do, please? Simmons and White is no longer on contract with the county, but it's a good question to ask because part of the Westlake conditions of development was to fund a traffic light in, at D in Okeechobee when the traffic is warranted. And we did, we talked to them, and then we also did traffic counts and had Simmons and White and come and bring those traffic counts to us. And at the time, it was not warranted. We talked to Simmons, I'm sorry, we talked to the attorneys for Westlake, and we asked if it were possible for us to get the funding that would have gone to the traffic light. Um, and perhaps do something to do some other traffic calming. And they said, no, it's a light and a light only, and it only triggers when conditions are warranted by the traffic. We did not have those numbers at the time. I also would point out that we've had a whole lot more development since the last time that we counted traffic. I think if you take a look at the numbers that Jim gave for Palm Beach County's counts, not that they're just for our town, but it does grab a section of areas in our town and it does show that the traffic is going up. So we could certainly do, you know, we could certainly revisit whether it's warranted at this time. Um, one thing I do want to point out, we have great benefit of having Ms. Bain here because, again, in her previous role with the county, um, you know, this would be something, you know, with respect that I heard somebody <coughs> say earlier about the conversation at the last meeting on rural connector as opposed to urban connector. That was a discussion that was brought up as well. So let's, you know, try to take advantage of having Miss Bain here where we have some county town type of, you know, crossover that we need clarification um, on. It's been, and I apologize for getting here late. It seems that my days are getting longer. And may I ask, it's Miss Bain. Yes. May I ask? Yes, Miss Bain. Because I don't know why Ms. she's sitting. Um, I, Jim can certainly do the in, the introduction as well or as as. as better than I can. Um, Ms. Bain is an associate of Mr. Fleischman. We discussed that Mr. Fleischman needed to have assistance. Um, I think that was actually asked at the desk a couple times. We reported that he had made arrangements. Um, and Ms. Bain is um, his lucky accomplice. Well, well this is what mm -hmm. I'm a little confused about because I think <clears throat> that I know myself as a council member, we were looking, and I thought you were looking at the building department, which I get why we're not looking there anymore, um, to bring us a town planner. So that we works just did. like for the town, like the county does. Here's our roles, you figure it out. Yeah, well, that's what Ms. Bain is going to help Mr. Fleischman do, but I'm going to just go back a little and say we did a solicitation. We did. Um, a competitive, a CCNA, a Consultants Competitive Negotiation Act um, solicitation. Um, it was out on the street from September till November. We came to the council in December with a selection and a contracts were awarded in January and we're in the process of transitioning the planning um, development work to um, one of the firms, but we still have a three-year contract with Mr. Fleischman, and the work that he is focusing on is our long-range planning, which the comp plan is part of that. That was the long story short, but we've awarded contracts to other planning firms. Okay. I want to continue on this stop sign theory because I support stop signs. I think stop signs will make it much safer to get onto Okotrobe. Um by that break in traffic. And what you're talking about, people going around people, they do it now because the people have to sit a long time to wait for a break. 
to turn left. So they go around the right, they go off the road. If it's a stop sign, they don't have to wait, except everybody goes in order. So they're going to turn left and or right, and there won't be that, you know, I can go around this person because they're waiting to turn left or they're turning right. So and perhaps and it, it will... It will definitely cause some people just, that cut through to be <laughs> upset, and I'll bet you our traffic counts go down. I think it's a great deterrent. I bet you people will choose to go to Southern Boulevard instead of stopping you know, multiple times, and it's going to be safer for our citizens to get out. And, and now's the time to do it because it's a simple rural two-lane road. If you make it a... If you start adding left turn lanes, right turn lanes, now forget it, you right. know, because that is you, you can't just put a simple stop sign there because now you've got a confusing situation. But uh, if there was a way to do it, and I I support it. And Robert, how my light is on, so um, I would not suggest maybe every single road. I'm thinking maybe. It do A, D, and F, and then see how that works for the people on E and B getting in and out. You know, and if it becomes a problem for those folks, then we, I don't know, put more, put them in at every corner. But it would be a deterrent, yeah. and I don't think we're going to see as many head-on collisions if oh, we no, do that. No, no, no. I think B, D, and F. B, B, D, and F. Not A. Or, yeah. No, e, no, nobody. D, uh, B, D, and F. F. I think are our main. And, and I would, I would be. Are in people going to run a stop sign? Maybe if nobody's sitting there stopped, but you know they're never going to get up to a speed if there's that many stop signs. Correct. And, and I, I, I think it would be a win-win for our town. So who for our residents and landowners, the people that drive throughout the town, will it upset people that choose to cut through? Probably, but. So I guess my question for Francine would be, um, who do we need to get with? Do we have to get with the county because we've got speed control? Well, at this point, all you do is you, you add it to your comp time. You know, it's just a wish list. So, you know, Like right here, it says traffic calming fe features to include but not limited to roundabouts at letter road intersections with Okeechobee. I mean, could you add a stop sign to that sentence or a stoplight? Is that a traffic calming feature? I mean, uh, uh, yeah, Mayor, uh, uh, that's in the land use element. We haven't gotten there, there, there yet. I think this discussion is really good, but in my mind, the, uh, the place to make those specific uh, changes are in uh, Objective 1.1A of the future land use element. That's what I just read. Yeah, 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 I know it is. I know it is, but that's what I'm saying. That. Uh, well, we haven't got there yet. No, no, we haven't done land use. Yet. Okay, that's okay. the last thing we're going to do. So I'll add a note here, and we'll talk about okay. it then. Yeah, but. why don't why don't we consider to move it over here? It does seem to be consistent. I don't think that it's required to be over in the land use per se, and this is transportation. Yeah, why can't we have it in both places? Language. Well. There's a number of changes that are going to come out when staff does a complete review and synthesis of all the comments that have been made. Um, and, you know, I think that we'll be doing some kind of moves like that in different places. But since it sounds like we all kind of agree to move it from land use over, we should. We right. want to move it from uh, page. 2-20, you don't want to add it in reducing speed on Okeechobee? But you can certainly put it there on the top of page 2-20. We just kind of add yeah. possible Yeah, we'll, additions. we'll take the land use language and add it on the top of page 2-20. Um, As item 4 or... Just finishing off part of item, item two, two, reduced beating on Okeechobee Boulevard. I was thinking item two, possible addition to traffic calming. Still a speaker. All right, Marianne, it, your light on. Uh, yeah, if we're going to talk about it then, uh, if we're going to move it to section two, um, 
I don't know if you want me to make my comment now or wait till we get. Okay. It's transportation after all. Okay. Um, I'm not in favor at all of putting stop signs on the letter roads. Be, and I'll tell you partially why. You have fire department that's going to have to blow through every stop sign there is if they have to get to a fire. Police are going to do the same thing. They're not going to stop at every stop sign. If you've got somebody pulling out, it can be driver error that they have pulled out and they don't see a fire truck or hear them, or the police department coming at them, they pull out, and it's a possibility of getting rear-ended. The second thing I'd like to say is I come out B Road, and when I come out B Road, I'm going south on the road, and other B Road on the other side are coming north. The person stops. If they don't signal, now I have to wait, and that's driver error that they're not going to signal. I don't know if they're going left and are going to cross me to go west or east or straight. So every time I get at that intersection, I wait because I've had several times when I've pulled out and people have pulled out crossed in front of me because they don't have their, east, their right signal on. So that's driver error. The other thing is as soon as I wait and I'm waiting there, the person that I'm facing pulls out. Well, the next person behind them says, well, I'm going to go. I've been sitting there maybe for two or three cars. And now I have to sit and wait because they're pulling out already in front of me, and I've been waiting to go. But see, with a stop sign, you don't sit there for two or three cars. Or if I pull cars. out, I'm going to get hit. I'm in the wrong. You're going to get hit by somebody that just left a stop sign. No, what it's I'm saying. It's going to be a very slow speed collision But I'm you get hit. But I'm in the wrong because I'm crossing traffic to go east. And if I cross traffic to go east, I have to go south first, but if I cross traffic to go east, I'm in the wrong because I'm crossing a lane. The person that's coming north and making a right-hand turn, technically, even though they stop, they have the right away. It depends who stopped first. If you already stopped and you proceeded and they pulled up to a stop sign and stopped and then took off and hit you, it's not your fault. I know, but I'm still getting hit. And the third it's a thing, a very is, slow speed hit, which is the goal, I think. Way better than head on. Okay. Is and the, the third, and the third thing is, down. if you have a stop sign there and people aren't paying attention and they're not aware, they're getting rear-ended. And you have stop. If you have stop signs or roundabouts, again, it doesn't. People aren't going to cross the road. You're going to have drivers that are. Uh, moving from north, south, east, west. The reason I say the lights is because it solves many problems. Robert, it can solves... you take a consensus on this? Well, let's, no, let's let finish You know, I'm going to stop talking. There's nothing wrong with adding lights and stop signs. I, I mean, think a light is about $500,000. I think we've oh, done I think, the... I think they're more than that. But what we're doing is saying what are some of the things that we can implement in our town to make it safer. That's all this is, is a wish list. And then later on, you look at, okay, these are our wish list items. How do we implement them? Right, and then so we the can... The goal number was to get it on the wish list. I got no problem adding traffic lights also to that, because I think Westlake still owes it to us. I mean, it's still in their development order to pay for it, and I don't know that there was a monetary limit on it. There's um, not. Yeah, so... It's, it's warranted. And, and that's based on traffic counts. Yeah, if there's a way mm -hmm. to word it, wordsmith it, so you put in stop light, stop signs, you know, as you know, can be implemented, then I support that. I just don't know how to word it where. So. Well, I don't think you have to get to the level of how. I think traffic calming does it. You're looking for reduced speed traffic calming and increased safety and this is the comp plan which isn't your implementing document okay you just provide examples correct roundabouts correct stop lights this stop is signs. not your implementing document Indeed. we did contract with a company called sepi to do traffic engineering and i did invite them tonight but you know it's too short notice for them to be here however this would be something to talk to them about what can we do for traffic calming throughout the town? Instead of including examples, you could take out the example of roundabouts and just say traffic calming and whatever that right reduce speeding comes forward. Consider well, I think traffic when you calming specifically put something safety. in there, I think it gives you a little bit more 
fuel in the future mm -hmm. if you say, look, you know, our comp plant said that, you know, we wanted to do roundabouts, we wanted to do stop signs, we wanted to do uh, traffic lights. So, I mean, if you just leave it as a blank traffic calming, then anybody can come up with any wild idea and say, hey, this fits in that category. But, um, all right, March. Yeah, uh, the um, traffic light wasn't um, based on that cut through being open and uh, them accessing. It was just the increase on Okeechobee that would trigger it, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. And if you look at this traffic study that Francine or Jim gave us, you will see not much of an increase, hardly. I mean, when you consider the rest of the, the county and the growth we've had since 2017, um, trips from Seminole Pratt Whitney to E Road, 2017 was 9,009. 2021 was 9,081. And it actually had gone down to 8,700 and 8,800. Then when you look at from E Road to Crestwood, um, 2017 was 14,023. And it went down back up, and now it's at 14,979. So still less than, I don't know, 7, 8% total. But if what the, what the, what do the 2022 volumes say? If you move over to the next column, it says 16,200. So oh, okay. that's a. All right, yeah, 98,468, 16,2. So. Yeah, uh, Mayor. Uh, 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 part of the uh, 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 what seems strange um, change in, uh, in traffic counts is where those uh, count stations are located. There's only two, uh, two count stations but, uh, between Seminole Pratt and Crestwood. One is, is just east of uh, some, uh, Seminole Pratt but not in the town. And, and the other one is just west of Crestwood not in the town. So um, there, uh, there are some traffic uh, generating uh, influences that um, are, are causing some of the traffic uh, uh, at those uh, count stations that are not even in the town, like, like the elementary school on the east right. and, uh, uh, and the elementary school on the west. Yeah, uh, those so, are significant. So, so those, uh, uh, those traffic counts, um, are high. we need to, yeah, I know we need to keep in mind what, uh, what those counts are, but we also need to understand that those counts are not taken in the town. Well, we closed the cut through also, so people need to yeah. go to Crestwood now and come back west if they want to go to <clears throat> Red Barn or go up to Tractor Supply. So we're going to pick those people up on the um, E Road to Crestwood mm -hmm. count where you wouldn't have picked them up before because they would right. come through the cut through and come straight through the town and head to Southern Boulevard. So I think that it counts for that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, 979 to 16,200, probably. Possibly, a lot, yeah. A lot of that, I think. Yeah, in, some of it. I mean, in I mean, the school, COVID. You know, the school was closed, so you can see they went down significantly during COVID. I think, but now there are not more people taking their kids to school now than than before because the buses. I thought there was more. Yeah, I mean, if we. If we really wanted to get a good uh, a good feel for uh, for the traffic that counts in the town, uh, we should see maybe if they if the county can move those stations to uh, to places in the town or add a couple of stations in the town. So those are permanent stations. They're there all the time. Yeah, and it, and the counts are taken uh, uh, one day once a year. Is it at a light? Is oh, well, uh, uh, I'm not sure how many feet, um, like uh, uh, east of of Seminole Pratt, that uh, uh, the count station is, but it's not in the town. I know that it's just just east of, of Seminole Pratt, and just west of of. Um, uh, <clears throat> 162nd. I just want to remind everybody. I I read a note from our from Simmons and White at the last meeting. Mary, you weren't here. But at the time, in 2021, our count at D was 866, 
which was 60% of the capacity. So at D in Okeechobee, we were at 866 peak hour, and um, that was 60% of the capacity at the time, which is why the traffic light wasn't warranted then. This doesn't show us D, um, but mm. it would be great if we could have counts at other locations because those are some pretty wide legs of a journey there. That was D in Okeechobee traffic on D or traffic on Okeechobee? Traffic at Okeechobee in D relative to whether a traffic light was warranted. So it's still a, it's still at the Okeechobee intersection, 866 trips. Mm -hmm. Do we know when that was done? Um, I can go back and find out the exact date, but I think I said it at the last meeting what date it was. Remember, I got to my email. But we can go back and pull out the Simmons and White work from the time. Um, I think one of the things that is often not considered is seasonal versus non-seasonal. Yes. Oh, okay. In terms of the timing of when it was done, it was unfortunately non-seasonal. And that was one of our real issues with those counts. Thank you for putting this on the record. It was also done in COVID. So it was non-seasonal and COVID. Yeah. And I think I did mention that last time. So, you know, it may be artificially lower than what we actually um, see right now. Um, one thing I would point out is that um, us putting the, the stop signs and the whatnot on the lettered roads doesn't actually do anything for Okeechobee. And so it simply sends a note to the driver, you know, I got to stay here for a while, but it doesn't change what's going on on Okeechobee unless it becomes an always stop and I don't think the county is going to do that. A what? An <laughs> always all stop. Four-way four stop. Four-way. Four four way. Yeah. Four-way, yeah. all way, either Well, way. that's what we're, I that's think we're, talking, we're talking about. about. Yeah. I don't think that they, I don't think we were talking about that, but if we are. No, Ro I think Robert and I were definitely right, talking correct. about that. Four-way. We've already got two ways. No, no, it has to be an all yeah. way, but that's not what you're saying, is it? Ms. Miles? If no, you... I realize that they want four-way because we have two-way there now, and that's right. why I'm saying no. I don't think they're going to agree with it, and I wouldn't no. agree with it. They're not, which is why I'm making the statement I'm making. Who is they? The, the county? county? The county. This is the county's road. This is the same county that was going to give us a roundabout, give us horse crossings, assist us with sidewalks, and same county, right? Uh, it wasn't to give Phyllis. <laughs> because it was yeah, a three, we had, it right. was a three right, million so dollar project. Right, that, that we up. had to put four hundred thousand dollars in. The other, the other discussion at last week's meeting was directing us to talk to the county about whether this wrong. could be made a Not rural wrong. connector by definition as opposed to an urban connector. You weren't here for that, but that was the direction. Okay. So the four-way stop conversation could be part of that conversation, I imagine. Yes, that was said at the meeting. So the rural connector in 100 words or less, what's the difference between the rural collector and the urban connector? Is that the two? Am I yeah. saying those uh, correct? Yeah, I don't believe that we can... Um, Get uh, uh, get correct. rural collector. I think we yeah. I think we can get minor collector. Um, rural minor collector. Uh, our men. Well, uh, if if you look at. Um, I said it wrong. I'm the, sorry. I'm tired. There's two eleven by by seventeen maps at at, at the end <laughs> of the handout that I gave you, <clears throat> and the uh, the first one is the county's roadway designation. It, uh, uh, and it has uh, uh, it has us as uh, urban collector, okay. If you look at uh, at the second one, which is much harder to read, um, <clears throat> uh, that's that's the state version of, uh, of the same classification system, and they call Okeechobee through the town as as a minor collector. It's it's that light yellow. If uh, uh, if you go back to the um, uh, go back to the first one, the, uh, the county's uh, designation. The only rural uh, classification uh, 
of roads is out in the glades. So I, uh, I doubt very seriously whether or not uh, we can convince the county to, uh, to give us any kind of a rural designation. I think we can. Um, uh, we, uh, we can go, go uh, after a minor collector de uh, designation. And the, uh, the definition of, of minor collector fits very well w uh, with the character of the town. What is it? Um, let me see. I've got it in here. I think I put it in here. So right now they're saying we're urban minor arterial. Uh, or no, no, I'm sorry, we're no. black. Pa we're, uh, Palm Beach County is calling okay. us an urban collector. Okay, I see it. Okay. Right. No, I didn't put that in there. Let me see if I got it in here. It, uh, uh, it's essentially um, a, a uh, uh, minor collector. It uh, is essentially a two-lane road that runs through essentially an area that, uh, that has a uh, low density uh, uh, residential character and uh, a few small commercial uses. And, and uh, I think that, that definition fits Okeechobee quite, There's uh, no quite, quite well. There's no legal commercial uses on Okeechobee right now. Red barn. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. There are. <laughs> So, um, do you have the actual definition? Can yeah, you share it with us? It's on page five of this handout. The short pages. Yeah. Urban. Well, have page eight. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. It is, it's the yellowed out. Um, mm -hmm section on page handwritten okay, five. Page five. Yeah, yeah. But we want it to be rural, not urban, right? Well it's, I, it's I, urban I mean, I, now. Ideally I would say say yes, but not, not, but it, but if you look at um, how Palm Beach County has assigned rural roads, uh, they're they're all out in the uh, in the glades area around uh, well uh, Pahokee, uh, oh, okay. It actually, the rural principal arterial actually starts at Seminole Pratt. So why can't it start at F Road? You, you, th you, you want principal arterial? No, rural. Rural principal arterial. No. Rural, not for, you Rural know, we have no say over Southern Boulevard anyway. I'm talking about Southern Boulevard now. Oh, oh, okay. That's what I was talking about. Oh, okay. All and right. it seems to start at Seminole Pratt. It's kind of like they went right past our little town that has cows and all that kind of stuff. But maybe it's because Wellington, but Wellington is actually, you no know, starting at Flying Cow. <clears throat> It was probably because Seminole Pratt goes into Southern there, this so the they can take all that traffic from the north. That seems to be the the yeah. dividing point between. The, I think uh, I think our best chance for Okeechobee is is uh, uh, urban minor collector, which is, which is you know, the definition for that is yellowed out on page ten. Right, five. but um, but Seminole Pratt is an urban minor arterial road yeah. and that's four lanes right now the major uh, yeah. a lot of it out to Sycamore at least and beyond yeah so why would we want to do that if we want to keep Okeechobee two lanes I, I, I don't understand what you're saying I, I, <clears throat> okay it's Seminole Pratt is red yeah that over here on this map yep it says next to the red line, urban minor arterial. Okay. My point is that Seminole Pratt Whitney is four lanes for a good ways all the way out past Westlake. Right. We don't want four lanes on Okeechobee Boulevard. I think yeah, we want yeah, rural yeah, and that's, minor we, collector. It's, that's it's what like I'm the saying. The county doesn't recognize anything as being rural. 
And that's he used the same rule prior. I, think. I want the word rural. I agree with Robert. I think we want to be recognized as rural, a rural minor collector versus urban minor yeah. collector. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we can. We, uh, no, we can cert we can certainly put it in there. That the, uh, the, uh, we can put essentially anything that that we would that we want to in our comprehensive plan. Um, uh, we that would be uh, to our benefit if we could convince the county to make that same that same change. Um, I I doubt very much if if Palm Beach County is going to make a rural assignment to any road uh, east. Uh, east of 20 mile bend but see that's the thing you doubt that's yes. the problem i have well as council we can say that phils if, if we if we agree to do rural minor collector then we can put it there and you know hope that the county will recognize this area is unique and it's rural yeah it's in the middle of the county it's surrounded by a lot of urban but it's still rural so i i, I, I think agree the, the, Step one would be us to agree. If recognize we want to, it. Yeah, if we want to recognize it as rural. If we don't recognize it as rural, then right. How the hell should we ever expect anybody else to recognize it? it? So I right. agree. Thank that's you. That's the first step. Uh, and we do have some good arguments. I mean, uh, um, the, uh, the town is 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 officially technically in the the urban area of Palm Beach County. If you look just at the uh, characteristics of of the town itself, the uh, the defi uh, definition of of, uh, of uh, uh, ur uh, urban area is 475 dwelling units per square mile. Now, uh, uh, now the town has um, around 105. So, uh, based on that definition alone, w now we can make a strong claim that uh, that section of Okeechobee is, uh, it goes through a rural area. Um, now, uh, when I say I doubt, I mean that's just my this my right. I know it's that. your opinion, but but uh, uh, but I think we can make a case b uh, by saying that it's going through, by definition. A, uh, uh, an area that, that is rural. So, so I, I would like to mention this. There's, we have 20 acre parcels. We've got, still have <clears throat> a few 60 acre parcels and 50 acre parcels. Right. Okay. They've got cattle on them, whatever. Okay. Um, we have an 80 acre sod farm. That's ag. We are mostly we are agres, okay, and we have a lot of farming here. We cannot get a USDA loan here because we are all of a sudden Palm Beach County decided Loxahatchee Groves is not rural. The state of Florida did. <clears throat> well, when did that happen? And I think we need to fill out that form. Well, if you recall, we did bring that forward that we would have to go ahead and get a legislative act to have the town classified by the state as rural. Okay. There's a job for the lobbyists. We'll work on that next <laughs> year. That. So yep. Right now, let's focus on this. And, and Jim, that's a great number. If urban's 475 DUs, mm -hmm. we're at 105. Yep. Yes. We aren't even freaking close. Yeah, yeah I know. And I we know. could build every five acre house and still not even be close yep. yeah that's exactly right i mean not even I mean, half we could never even get to half of yeah, a yeah, yeah, urban du we have a real good argument to say that okeechobee goes through a, we have a consensus area. then to yes. support rural minor collector yes yes okay oh, but why does it have to be the word collector because uh, well it, it's either it's that or main... arterial we well, don't well, want arterial. Only, okay there's only three basic categories yeah Jim, what's the number difference between an artery and a collector? Uh, I mean, the, the, uh, the number of trips you're, why, you're talking about? Yeah, what, what, what is the distinction between why that road's an artery and that road's a collector? Um, a, lot of, a lot of it depends upon uh, 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 what it serves. And 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 what it uh, uh, what it connects. Um, uh, Southern Boulevard, for 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 example, is is uh, uh, part of the state. Um, can't think of the name. State, uh, state system that uh, that essentially goes coast to coast. Okay, so that's uh, that's an arterial. <clears throat> 
uh, uh, I, uh, the uh, the major roads that are that are multiple lanes that uh, that serve larger areas, and and they solar. Uh, serve collector roads, which in turn serve local roads. Okay, so it's uh, no. so an artery is like the fat part of the funnel, and the collector is the long part. That uh, uh, yes, get that going all uh, all the way down to local, which is which is the real skinny part. <clears throat> okay, it's almost the opposite of what you think. <laughs> yeah, you think big roads collecting a lot of cars, but that's not it. It's right. It's Little roads collect them and send them to the big roads, the arteries, I guess. So veins and, well, capillaries and right. arteries, I guess. Right. So. All right. Oh, okay. Collectors are capillaries and yep. arteries are arteries. Okay, so we had a consensus 5 0 to support rural minor collector, so wherever that fits in. Um, let's. Uh, Let's go with that. I mean, I, I could vision if we could get that designation, if we got stop signs and looking at the dwelling units, it's like this is a rural area, period. You know, it's a two-lane area. I mean, I know it's in the middle of everything else and everything else wants to go through it, but it still is what it is. I mean, if... But the big picture, going back to second her plan, is when all of this... Uh, rural got lost in the shuffle and Commissioner Mazzalotti kept referring to us as urban, 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 oh, okay. you know, and it used to drive everybody crazy out here oh. like it's doing tonight. <laughs> I think this is a step to try to get that back and, and if yeah. there's something that we need to lobby legislature next year then let's uh, try to understand it. And well since it doesn't do cost it. Other than the cost of the lobbyists, that's something that they could be working on, that you guys could be pushing when you go up uh, to Tallahassee. But it's too uh, late to get any bills in front of anybody. And we need our own zip code. Oh, <laughs> Jim, I have a question. How much since the DOT does categorizes us in D um, for the level of service? And it seems like they keep doing it every year because 2023, they didn't move us. Um, whether they feel the traffic patterns have changed or not. So how much pressure can somebody put on the DOT to want to change these to say, nah, you know, um, I don't care whether you have a lobbyist or not. This is our findings for our level D of loss of, uh, of service. I think, uh, you know, I don't want the council to spin its wheels in the wrong direction. I understand what everybody's saying, but if the DOT does this and the DOT is responsible for the roads, and I don't know who listens to who, I'm assuming the county listens to DOT. Uh, 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 DOT um, does, uh, uh, does the... Um, statewide classification and and then Palm Beach County uh, does the classification for Palm Beach County essentially based on uh, uh, or the start, findings of starts with uh, with the state and you can see that they make a couple of changes like uh, like, uh, like they have Okeechobee as an urban collector and and the state had it as a minor collector it's it's still a collector it's it, it it's just the the uh, uh, level of collector that uh, that the state versus the county uh, have determined. Right. I guess so. My point is, I, I don't. When when the word lobbyist is brought up here, that costs the town. That costs us money. I don't want to go on a goose chase when it comes to these roads and a lobbyist because ultimately, I would think the DOT and the county trump. Mm -hmm. What I, I hate to say that word, um, but overrule. they overrule or oversee what they want to do and it doesn't matter not necessarily to them it doesn't matter what we want to do but we're a small fish in a big pond and if they need to move traffic they're going to want to do it and it doesn't matter how or where 
Um, I started listening to a six and a half hour meeting of um, the county commission on what they're planning on doing with these roads out here. And I will continue to um, listen to that meeting because they, they were talking about North Lake and they were somebody brought up about Southern and Okeechobee because they know in time they're going to have to move traffic and it's coming in a short period of time. So I'm not saying they bulldoze through us, but I don't want to go have a lobbyist spend our money we're on, not here voting on. Okay, thank uh, you. I just, we're voting on the name Rural in the Road. Uh, Francine. And they are widening Seminole Pratt. They widen Southern. They're doing what they need to do to get traffic North out of Lake there. And it doesn't need to come down Okeechobee. And hopefully uh, we'll keep doing everything we can to avoid that. Um, I got a phone call, and um, I was told that the plan is not to widen Okeechobee till 2035. So can you verify that information? It was a recent meeting. No, they come up with a five-year plan every year. It could show up next year on the five-year plan. That's all your guarantees. Right now it's not in the five-year plan. Which we brought to council, I think, in October yeah. or November. Yeah. So it's yeah. not in the five-year plan. What I will say is that um, there are a number of other things going in front of yeah. the county PCB that shows that that tend towards creating greater east-west flow. So streets are being widened and connections are being made. But, but a lot of the philosophy is not necessarily widened. That now would be true. They're looking at a lot of you know alternative mm. methods of transportation. So that's true too. It was on the five-year plan three years ago, mm -hmm. Okeechobee, and I spoke in front of the TPA, and they removed it from the five-year plan, and it hasn't shown up since because there's a lot of other ways that they realize Okeechobee's not going to do much. I mean, you can get a ton of people down Seminole Pratt and down State Road 80 and out North Lake and, and all around. So, can I ask a question? So, you spoke in front of the TPA representing the town, all of us yeah. council members. Yes, I did. Do you remember? Because I would like to watch that meeting. Well, because I'm, I I'm under think that they're uh, videoed. I don't know, it's a few years ago. So, just for the record, just to clarify, uh, Ms. Miles, I heard you say. You don't want to spend lobbyist money to get the street designated rural. The town can only be designated rural by the state. We can ask the county if they would change the definition if we make an argument for our segment of the road that doesn't require the state. I just wanted to put that on the record to clarify it. But again, I think it will be an interesting argument. All right, so what do we have left in here? Yeah, it's 2024, I think, isn't it? Yeah. In this section. Where are you at, Laura? Bring me back here. An opportunity uh, for us we to, did yeah. two. Uh, we're on four, we're on, right? We did two and three, and we still had to do nine. That was, okay. yes. That was on um, the last time we met, so nine was capital. So we're ready to move on to capital. Any other comments about number two? Nope. Nope. All right, capital. So Jim handed us um, this packet, which were the changes from the last meeting, but it also has a marked up chapter nine capital because there's um, number one the five-year plan doesn't have to be in there but that's towards the end so if you want to kind of look at this at all the highlighted things I guess right Jim these are recommended changes uh, th 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I think those are uh, uh, all relatively uh, 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 uncontroversial changes, and they're, yeah. and they're pretty much uh, uh, all related to uh, to two two things. Um, first of all, taking out the five-year schedule of improvements, um, capital improvements, which the town now uh, uh, incorporates within the annual budget process, and the other is um, the. Uh, the, uh, the state statutes t took out the requirement for a uh, <clears throat> pu uh, public school element. The concurrency. Yeah, yeah public school concurrency <laughs> element. So um, I've I've scratched out um, each of the places that would still relate to that, and recommending uh, that our public school concurrency element be stricken from the plan. Okay. All right. So page number nine. I guess it starts out with 9 8. Huh? Yes. That's different. <laughs> what number? Page number? 9.1. Chapter 9. We're going to start at the beginning 8. here. Yeah, chapter 9. The first page is 9 8. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, on 9.1, the top of the page. Um, on, under the objection when it first says maximize physical resources available to the town for public facility improvements necessary to accommodate existing development, redevelopment, and planned future growth. Um, I'd like to put a period there. I don't know how you guys feel and remove and to replace obsolete or deteriorated facilities only because maximizing physical resources, the physical is telling me it's going to go year by year. Is that our physical year budget? No, but physical means actually like in this The physical dimension. building? Physical oh, no, building. Okay. It says fiscal. 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 It says fiscal. This year. But, right. So that's what I'm saying. So I'd like... I'd like kind of that, I don't know if that's pointing to our decision or by putting it in there, maximize fiscal re resources, which tells me every year we got to look at or allocate money to replace obsolete or deteriorated facilities. This statement is a general statement, and just because this says fiscal doesn't limit it to a year. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I, it, I, your fiscal year is your budget year. So this is talking about fiscal resources, so it's m monetary resources and it doesn't mean we have to do it no uh, it okay. says maximize fiscal resources so use them the best you can is what this says well what's the definition of facilities that may be the confusing part like our pumping station that's a facility yeah you know it's, it's not necessarily a building like no we have two buildings town hall and public works but it's yeah i just didn't want to have it yeah. be put under a gun so because if we have something i know we base our money on um, you know the needs of the town I just didn't when I read the last sentence and to replace obsolete and deteriorated facilities as long as we don't have if that's not a no it's saying that these are the types of things that you would want to spend your capital improvements money on these are capital improvements that the town wants to improve okay exactly what we've been doing right maximize yeah but i just dollars. didn't want to have to that was my because it said fiscal resources which to, to me was that year or year to year so I, I i wanted some leeway and not have to be okay now we have something we have to do something about it because we're saying we're going to do something about it in that fiscal year so as long as that's not saying that no okay Yep, uh, Mayor, uh, 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 policy 9.5.2 has a definition of capital improvements. All right. 
And he, um, I had a comment on a the sewer solid waste drainage and adequate water. Isn't that a repeat from our um, infrastructure chapter? That's. But, and should it be a shall or a may? Which what, uh, which one? Which policy was that? Nine point one point one A. I'm not looking at your infrastructure element, but my recollection is that the the they address the placement of those facilities being available, but this one is really tied to Commercial. when development comes in, and that's appropriate for your capital improvements. You know when you would be taking those issues, but you can certainly move any of these utility related functions and provisions to your infrastructure element and that would be appropriate as well. But I don't understand. I understand that being in the infrastructure element, but not in the capital approval because we're not paying for that. I mean, we That's don't what I'm own the, the water can and we, sewer. No, and, can we move it? Yeah, I, I had repeat. I had this that is repeated, so I I Where are we moving it to? Well, it's already in infrastructure. I think it should be deleted from capital improvements. We'll just check it. Yeah, we're I think not budgeting to improve the county's water and sewer lines. I think A and B and C are all covered yeah. elsewhere. See, so we could strike them. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll check and make sure that they're in the right location in here, so we're streamlined. Okay. And if they are, then we can delete them from Correct. this section. Or we can just merge the wording together. I mean, it's definitely important that uh, yeah. we say, hey, you got to have the infrastructure in before you get your CO. I mean, I completely agree with the paragraph. I just uh, think it, it. I think it's already in the infrastructure element. Okay, anything else on that page? Are you on the first page or the second page? Nine, nine. <laughs> Robert, the um, C there, uh, where it's talking about the transportation, mm -hmm. we had uh, stricken uh, any, um, any roads, new roads um, going east or west. Most of the developments... Uh, in the large lot areas would require new roads going east or west. So maybe that should not have been eliminated. But that would be part of their development. You're talking about like if somebody had 40 acres, they wanted to put right. eight houses in there, right. they would have to build their own road. We're not going to build a separate road to okay, connect so to Okay, so that was property. referring to yeah. our cost. Yeah, our existing right of okay, ways. got yeah. it. Any questions, comments here? No. Are you are you on nine point one point two? We're on that page, yes. Yeah. Okay. You got a question on that one? Um I wanna not on nine point two point two. Point three? Well well I did have uh no. Um nine point one point four. I got a question on point three. Okay. I thought we weren't allowed to collect impact fees anymore. Is there different words that we can put on theirs? I made a note to check that out. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Jim's highlight of it means he's suggesting to take it out. Oh, okay. It's not highlighted here. It's in the yeah the update that he's oh, given us. Oh, not allowed to do that. Oh, we should be in that instead of this. Then. It's funny. I'm going to have There's another mechanism. <laughs> Let's put it in there. I'm going to have to start using, actually look what Jim gave us and then start using different highlighting on my, because it was highlighted there and then I highlight stuff and I can't tell the difference between Jim's highlighting now and mine that I want to do something except if I have a notation next to it. So, Obviously, if we can't do it, it shouldn't be in our... Uh, well, he's Jim, why, why in 9.1.2 would we take out 
tax increment. Wouldn't that like kill the one cent tax? No. Ta uh, tax increment um, uh, financing is 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 usually related to uh, special districts um, where uh, where the um, uh, millage rate is is fixed, and then and then as uh, uh, as property values go up, um, the the, uh, the difference between the current uh, value and the uh, uh, and the future value that that money is taken and spent only in that district. Oh, I would not take this out. I happen to disagree with Jim about taking out the tax increment, not because today that we have any area that we could do this, but you could have a neighborhood improvement district, and in that neighborhood improvement district, we could potentially do a TIF, and I am not suggesting we are anywhere near a TIF today, but you never know what there is tomorrow, and this is, remember, just, you know, aspirational. Neighborhood improvement something could be a jobs pickup and drop-off center somewhere? Neighborhood improvement? No, it's like a CRA. No. Yeah, but we one. wouldn't have, we probably wouldn't qualify for a CRA, yeah. but there is also other provision in the Florida statutes for certain types of districts that can do tax increment financing. That's why I wouldn't take it out right this minute. And then what's an enterprise revenue? Well, that's what we currently get from the solid waste fund. Um, and technically, let's just say that we were going to do something that we asked people to pay us for. Um, depending on what that enterprise was, we could use some of that money to build facilities. Um, I would not take that out either because you never know. Okay. All right. Got that, Jim? Uh, yeah, keep it in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah please. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got that. Not because take impact fees out, but the other two I'd just leave yeah. in for now. Thank you for the education there. It's easier to leave it in than try to put it in later. When you, yep. when you realize you need it, it's not an easy process. Is this being uh, live streamed or recorded? Yes, both actually. Because it doesn't look like it. It's I know it says I've tried to connect several times. Says we can't connect, but I see, for the TV. But I see that we are live on YouTube and we are live on Zoom, um, and it right. looks like we have one person that's been viewing. Okay, so uh, 9.1.4. Yep. Elizabeth, do we need the word aggressively in there? No. That's your choice. It's your policy. I'd like to remove it. Yeah, I, I agree. I <laughs> <laughs> we should be aggressively doing everything in this comp plan to, to, to move it forward. <laughs> Even the word realistic. I mean, yeah. yeah that really I mean, I, I would like to say seek yeah. grant opportunities. Yeah, seek all grant opportunities. Yeah. yeah. Scratch realistic. I mean, if it's not realistic, why are we doing it? Well, that's probably why it's in there. Seek all all <laughs> realistic, not ones that are. You know, maybe we need to leave it in. If it's realistic, we do it. If it's far fetched, we don't do it. Well. <laughs> It's a grant opportunity. It's up to council and staff to determine whether it's... Yeah, seek grant opportunities. Can we take out not. all? Sure. The next highlighted one, um, why do we need that? Deficiencies determination. Which, uh, which letter? Nine, nine, nine one, one six, six two. Sorry. Nine. Oh, because that's no longer. That's the school concurrency plan, which doesn't exist. Oh. Excuse me. So we're striking that one. Yeah, number two.
Does that mean we do number five for Loxahatchee Groves? What? No, Water Control District. Uh, do we need to call that? Call not the Loxahatchee Groves Water Control District, but do we need to call it Public Works? No, no but okay. that's going to be one of the cleanups that we take out. Okay. Still a dependent district that could be eligible for things as a district. We'll be ad assessing all those references independently to make sure yeah. each one fits as They're correct? Should. Okay. <laughs> but there could be things that we are eligible because we are mm -hmm. still yes. a district. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is yes. correct. And on 9.2.1, didn't we come up? Is our capital plan a five year plan? We did a four year road plan. So okay. is the capital improvement is five years? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's always a rolling five year, five year. plan. Okay. And on, um, I have an issue with fair share since we're not, it says 9.2.2. Proportionate fair share. Proportionate fair share and, and other developer contributions. Those are types of developer contributions that are provided for in statute and otherwise that you could agree for that um, allow the developer to pre to pay a portion of the improvements. But when we're talking about capital improvements, we're doing the capital improvements and fair share means to me like the 50-50 split and we did away with that. These types of agreements are provided for in statute and provide that the developer would pay their proportionate fair share of the improvements. It's similar to the it's similar to multi purpose the crossing we just did on collecting canal. The developer paid a portion of that, we paid a portion. Right? They gave us a check for one hundred and forty thousand <coughs> that a little was more one formal. of our capital projects. They're they're it's a whole program that they're set out, but yeah. yes. Okay, so it's just one of these legal things like it's one of these legal things like we had before that it had, doesn't have to stipulate that it's um, the developer doing their fair share because it says fair share and other developer contributions. Yeah, what this is saying is that your capital improvements plan, your, your schedule, if you're receiving um, contributions from another party, they're going to show in your capital improvements plan. Okay. That's all that's saying. Okay. So there's a school district. Is that proportionate fair share mitigation procedures and payments? The school district's not part of that any longer? Uh, no. It's just the county and DOT. Uh, let's put it this way: the the, uh, 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 the, sc uh, the school district is not requiring um, uh, con school uh, contributions for residential projects. What would be an I example? Mean, I mean, it never would, it, uh, uh, never would really be um, uh, uh, the case here in the town anyway. Because what would be an example of a proportionate fair share mitigation? Procedure or payment. Well, um, that's uh, used in impact fees. Um, uh, all of the county's uh, impact fees are uh, are supposedly fair, uh, fair share contributions towards to, uh, towards the impact on uh, public facilities, roads, police, fire, and they do have schools. Um, uh, uh, capital improvements um, for for all of those public facilities. Now, I'm not sure that 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 we would ever get to that point. The only that uh, the only the only thing I can think of is is that is that if we if we got into a, to a fair share of contribution for impacts on our our local roads, but that takes a very uh, uh, expensive, detailed study to get to the point to identify what a fair share is in in dollars. But this has nothing to do with the concurrency program. 
is why I, well, I'm thinking the school district well, should stay in there. Well, uh, well, we're um, no, we would uh, we would pay uh, county um, impact fees for for schools uh, if we had a residential development that was large enough to ge generate an impact. You can always coordinate with the school district whether or not they would. <laughs> Um, whether or not they would be a part of any particular agreement, it would be dependent on the agreement. But you could always leave them in a, on the list of entities to coordinate with. That you know. Okay, I think I would rather leave them in there. Just yeah, since it's not directly related to concurrency, but possibly something else. Right. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I guess I want to go back to 9.2 because, Jim, I didn't see, I was looking on my paper and I didn't see yours where you were wanting to strike consistent with adopted level of service standards. What number are you on? Uh, page 9-10, it's 9.2. And I would agree with that. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, that doesn't drive our capital improvements, though. The funding, the priorities each year, yeah, yeah. drives the capital, not yeah. level of service. Yeah. yeah, well, we don't, we don't really have adopted level of service standards in yeah. the town. Right. So. Yeah, I would agree. Um, strike that. Thank you. That's, that's something that we could uh, develop in the future, but we don't have them now. Well, we actually had changes to the road classification system that did identify some level of service in them. But they're not in here. So should they be in here? I think they will be when we put that um, adjustment into the transportation section because that road classification system did have, as I recall, level of service standards. With the roads, but we base it on the road category is what we correct. That is correct. Capital, so mm. that is correct. I mean, it's indirectly based on level of service. I don't think. Well, technically, your capital plan is supposed to be based on level of service, but given that we have not adopted a level of service that we would spend capital on, i.e., our open space level of service, we so greatly exceed by virtue of the park or open space so it doesn't show up in our capital plan. But the level of service standards by road classification would impact our capital plan. It should impact the capital plan, but not having it here does not change anything for us. Well, we have it in 9.2.9. .9. Yes, you do. The level of service. Mm hmm Okay. Are we deleting again? Nope. Yeah, no, we'll leave, leave that there. So we're deleting it in 9.2, and I think that's fine. Yeah, just the end of that sentence up yes. top. Yes, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All right, next page. Why is a policy space reserved? Uh, that th th uh, that's because we uh, uh, we at some point deleted the policy and and we didn't want to have to move every <laughs> policy. Oh, up it's a space holder. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, there yeah. used to be something there. Yeah. Okay. Instead of renumbering everything else, right, it just yeah. becomes reserved. Are we taking Jim's recommendation on 9.2.12 to, to take out the schools, right? On where he highlighted? Yeah, I thought we don't have to have the schools in it anymore. I'm just saying t for the record because that way if, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because that's his recommendation, so.
And then we get rid of... 9.2.14. Mm-hmm. Put five. Oh, we're going to have more reserved. We have lots of reserves. Where are we at? 9.5? 9.2.15. Actually, Jim, since we're getting rid of... I thought we were beyond that already. Since we're getting rid of everything... 9.2.18. <laughs> we can get rid of the two reserve, too, and just... Well, the 9.2.13. this at 9.2.13. Yeah, that should go, too. 9.2.13. 13. Mm -hmm. That will be the last one. Everything else is getting stricken, so there's no reason to have... What do you mean it's the last one? Aren't we eliminating it because we don't do or educational that, facilities? That's the whole point of that is that you're saying you don't, you're not going to be constructing educational facilities. The school district is responsible for that. Okay, so leave that, leave one. that one stays. Yeah, that stays. But my point is since we're getting rid of 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.18, Get rid of point one six and point one seven. Also, there's no reason to have all these things yeah. marked as right. reserved. Yes. Druck. Who he didn't highlight anything on that page. Yeah, I had all check marks on Ooh. this page too. I didn't have any question marks here. Um, I'm with Laura. Are, are we doing May everywhere we see a shall? Shall? Or is it? Oh. I only brought that up on that specific. On yeah. the one? Yeah. We're not doing it throughout. Correct. Okay. Okay, I do have a, a 9.3 where it says uh, develop and implement a debt management program to assist the town manager in providing adequate and timely revenues for scheduled capital improvements? I have brought this up in numerous meetings, and so I'm very, very happy to hear that you would bring it up. And what I had shared with the Charter Review Committee and, of course, Council on a number of occasions is that um, the charter limitation of three years for any borrowing rather limits the town's ability to do the necessary infrastructure contemplated by the comp plan and also demanded by the residents and also <coughs> certainly indicated by the condition of some of our important infrastructure. That statement that you just read is actually the tool that manages debt, not the charter limitation. The charter limitation puts us in a fiscally impossible situation, whereas debt management puts us in a fiscally accountable <coughs> situation. And the way most folks manage debt, and we do have a debt management policy, even though we can't have one of years of debt. The way most towns do a debt management policy is um, what percentage or how much per capita or not to exceed certain debt service amounts per year. There are a number of different metrics that we can come up with or terms not to exceed a certain period of time compared to the useful life of the asset. So if that was your question, there was my answer. We I have a policy or this says program. Policy and program can be the same thing, but we really need to revisit it. And again, once we get ready to start thinking about next year's capital, we once again need to discuss that charter limitation of three years. Because we have been able to fund everything through surtax money, which, you know, runs out in, I think, two years, and also ARPA money, which was, you know, a windfall from COVID for us. Mm -hmm. Absent those two things, we have reserves and our annual... All right, we're aspects. getting sidetracked. Well, we it's did a, on a few other things, but this one is a very important aspect well, of the capital plan. Well, there's nothing to change plan. here. Well, it's the key. It's in your comp plan. I just wanted to make sure everybody understood if you can't go past three years, you don't really have much of a plan. But the three-year delineation is in the charter. This is just a, a broad stroke. That is correct. Okay. This document is the second level 
behind the, the charter. Right. So this document says in 9.3.5 <laughs> about the useful life that we were trying to adjust in the charter. So this has the language that would allow us to have a manageable fiscal position and continue to build infrastructure. Are you saying we need to take that out? No, I'm no. saying that's the most important thing. <laughs> then let's language. move on before we take it out. One thing I would suggest, though, is I would change the 30 years to 20. I never like to borrow more than 20 years. <laughs> not saying that we can't. It's definitely not irresponsible to go 30, but we don't have to change it here. If we ever looked at a financing, we could look at that. So leave it at 30? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, next page. Nine point. Oh, I'm already on the next page. I just had a question on the top thing the 10 year water supply facility work plan. The WSFWP, this is the first time I've heard it ever that. First time I've heard of this. It's in your infrastructure plan as well, and it's part of your it's part of the backup documentation that was provided in a preparation of the original comprehensive plan. It was um, put together for the town, and it's about time to redo that too. I think. Yeah, that that uh, that's based on the um, uh, uh, once every I think five years plan that the water management district does and uh, that I, I believe that they're going to be uh, starting work on it uh, very soon but we don't have to update ours until um, I think it's 18 months after the water management district adopts theirs so we can I think we can uh, <clears throat> keep that in there and uh, update the comp plan if necessary um, after the water management district does theirs. But so far we've never had to <clears throat> put something in our capital plan that they had on their water supply facility work plan. Uh, no, no, and, uh, uh, and actually um, the, only, uh, uh, the only things that I can think of that would ever uh, 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 be addressed in their plan that we might need to incorporate is is uh, is any water saving not water saving uh, practices policies but we would uh, now the way the hierarchy goes is the water management district does theirs and then the the uh, um, <clears throat> public water supply suppliers do theirs based on the water management district plan and if we have um, only one provider, uh, which we do, um, at uh, Palm Beach County, and they essentially cover us in their plan, then we don't have to do much. Yeah. <clears throat> How much work is involved for, the, for Larry as a team of one, right? In, uh, uh, in updating the of the tenure plan, right. uh, uh, really, there's not, not not much at all. We just have to make uh, make sure that uh, when they do do their population projections, th uh, that they include us. And if there's any um, uh, any improvements in their plan that are within the corporate limits, we would need to uh, we would need to reflect that in our uh, uh, our uh, five year schedule of improvements. So, so it's it's a relatively simple. It used to be relatively complicated, but now it's pretty simple. Well, we had talked about monitoring uh, who's taking drawing water out of our canals and <clears throat> so forth. Um, is that something that he would include in his well, report? Well, well, this uh, probably not. This is this is um, uh, uh, essentially drinking water. Oh, okay. I, I mean, they would include. Um, town projections of um, uh, uh, wells, uh, 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 well demand, and that's about it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Any other questions on that? Yeah. P. 
page. I mean, it's well, basically yeah, our twenty-five thousand dollar limit on <clears throat> or consideration for capital ten thousand if it's an engineering study. They're kind of the thresholds of when it becomes capital. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have a on um, nine point five point two under B. Uh, but B2, where it says public infrastructure such as roads, drainage, canals, parks, trails, or similar projects, um, is it something that we can add for bridge connections there? No. Because that's something that we do. Roads. And public works department, can we add that? No, it's talking about capital. It says. Uh, All right. Will redoing our building would not be a capital improvement? I mean, it's purposes, listed under one public building. We have a replacement of public building physical facility, infrastructure such as roads, drainage, canals, parks, trails, and equipment supporting the maintenance of infrastructure. I mean, it's like Laura said, broad stroke, so I think it. I think it's open to whatever we might need. I think it's under drainage canals, right? That includes culverts, bridges, anything yeah. associated with the canal. So mm -hmm. I think those or are all covered under that. I didn't know if it was something we had to add because it's naming them. You know what I mean? It's naming roads, drainage, uh, drainage canal, but bridge col bridge connections is, I didn't know if we had to add that because it's, they're naming the other stuff. You see what I'm saying? The bridge connections would usually be part of either of your roads or your trails, depending on what they're connecting. Okay. All right. Next page. I didn't have any questions. Just you know, striking those tables. 9.6. I had that underlined. Any other comments on that page? Um, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. A minute. Wait I think. Oh, okay. I'm seeing these are these are not okay. I have nothing on. Next page. Jim, you have everything struck on page nine point one six. Seven. Except the top. 9.116, excuse me. <laughs> and the next yeah. several. Uh, and, I, and I don't agree necessarily with striking uh, well, number three where it says Okeechobee signal at D. Well, it's... <laughs> this was your capital improvement yeah. plan at the time the comprehensive plan was adopted. So as consistent with what Jim has said before and how you've changed, this is adopted annually separate from the comprehensive plan now. So this is just taking out the originally adopted. So no, you yeah, that, every year and you only update this once every 10 years? Comp plan? Seven. Seven, five, okay. Five, seven, seven. If we left something in there, it would be obsolete. Yeah. yeah. So once we completed it, you know, so. All right, so it takes out all of all of the charts. Well, all interesting of, yeah. education on what they went through to initially put this together. Uh, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, Marge, Marge is having flashbacks looking at this stuff. <laughs> well, that just shows that to me, because this was there, it just shows how long yeah. that they have been put. That's, that was my point of before. You know, they put that in there and other stuff, and I think – we need to go back and, like we've done with the roads, visit some of this stuff with our comp plan and say, hey. All right. I think that takes us to the end. Yay. Property rights. Okay, so our next. So that knocks off two and nine, so we still have. Thirteen and one. one we and discussed the property rights element. One in ten. Yeah. What's that? Property rights element. 
we'll discuss that. You guys ready? It didn't mark much. Um, not. It's, it's, I, it's only one page. Yes. If not, yeah, Mayor, that's a uh, that's a new requirement uh, just just recently, but by, by Florida statutes. And I I put an example in uh, that I prepared for Lake Clark Shores, and I uh, I essentially just took the statute and uh, uh, paraphrased the statute and put it in the format of of their conference plan, which which I would propose to do here, unless there's anything else that you want to go in it. Now, most of what you see on that on that one page uh, is pretty much required. Can, you can add to it, but you can't take from it. <clears throat> can I ask you a question, um, since mineral rights is sitting here in front of us? <laughs> <laughs> some people own them, some people don't. Do you want to tell us all about mineral rights? <laughs> No, I don't. It was just a comment that I made because I know I don't own mine because I didn't buy them. Right. And uh, I just have a huge issue with the mineral rights thing. And uh... With the right of the property owner to physically possess and control his or her interest in the property, including easements, leases, and mineral rights? Well, mineral rights is... State statute language here. <laughs> yeah, this is statutory language, and this is saying when you're making regulations, you're going to consider these things. All right, so right this is them. nothing that we could make life easier for our residents, deleting the mineral rights thing. Now, this is saying that you understand people have a right to own mineral rights, and so when you're making right. regulation, you'll keep that in mind. Right, because you can buy your mineral rights. Yeah, if the person wants to sell them. Well, I don't know why they, they wouldn't, all, but... Trust me, they all want to sell them right now, okay? And they keep going up, like, every year. It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, uh, sometimes uh, the real estate negotiates that the um, seller pay the uh, fee and clear it up. It's attorneys that do that. It has nothing to do with real estate agents. It's attorneys. Okay, because I know when um, when we bought our foreclosed... Uh, property, the bank cleared up our mineral rights. Right, right, through, through their legal yeah. department. Yeah. yeah, that's an attorney thing. Okay. I did have a comment on the town of Lake Clark Shores. If you could replace that with the town of Loxatchee Groves. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, I just, I just made a copy there. <laughs> a copy of it and just put it in. Is it copied and pasted I, into I our thing? Thank you. <laughs> I see time, it I up here. Where else is it? Son oh, number I 13. Okay. <laughs> this yeah. is just a sample. 13. Was my Thank only, you. My only mark I had in there. <laughs> All right. Any questions, comments? Nope. Number 13, so we have numero uno left. Yeah, we ain't getting done in five minutes. Your land yeah. use. <laughs> Before you move on. When is our next meeting? Yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. On your schedule that was part of the package and put out the February 20th and 27th were identified for future land use discuss element discussion. The 20th is a holiday and the 27th you all um, decided not to have a meeting and to offer that uh, date to the FAC for a meeting. So I wasn't sure <coughs> where you wanted to go. <laughs> we not, we have not we have only gotten one response yeah. as to attendance one. on the 27th. One. Okay, good. For so, FAC? I'm sorry, FAC has not responded for their meeting. The last update I had from Lakeisha, which I believe was Friday, was that we had only one of the committee members confirm attendance. Okay. And if we um, want to crack the whip, who was the one that responded? Mine. Yours, okay. Um, Francine, did the did the uh, notice go out in the email, or were they called? I don't know. I'd have to ask Lakeisha, but I'm sure she sent an email because I received copies of two different emails that she sent out. She may have called to follow up, but I do not know. What time was it was scheduled? It was scheduled for. Um, what is the not not. There was, were two dates. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to say is because there were two dates offered, the 27th and the 28th, 
The first one offered was the 27th, and I believe that it was being started at 615. Um, and if we did not get, you know, a response, a positive response, you know. What was the time of the 28th if it was? Same day, same time, because we're accommodating somebody on the committee's travel time to get here. Okay. 27, 7, 15. Six, 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 six. All right, I'll reach out to my person. Okay. Because I, I know that sometimes, even though we're supposed to, you know, look at emails and stuff. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they either don't or they get lost or get, you know, mm -hmm. if somebody has a lot of emails, it's easy to. Yeah, that's true. If they don't go through them for a week or two, it's easy to skip it. So what are the dates? 27th and 28th. Or 28th. Or I think the first choice was 27th because we lined up um, people to attend. At 6.30? 6.15. 15. <laughs> So that's why we asked if you all would be so kind as to let us have that day. But we can try. Well, can we do. 28th if you want and do the 27th here. Well, the 28th is Tuesday. So which day do you want FAAC to meet? Monday the 27th. Or the 28th, whichever they want. But all right, I'm sending that. Well, that's, there. That's, <laughs> okay. Because we need to get We're one trying more to figure meeting out. Yeah. Yeah, we So do. if we do do, is that do do again? I'm okay with the 20th. We serve at your pleasure. So if we do the 28th for FAC and try to get them on the 28th and we schedule ours off for the 27th, we can get the last leg of this comp done before we have to go review again what we've changed. How about if we do this? We see if they accept Monday, and then we can do ear on Tuesday. And if they don't accept Monday, we do ear on Monday, because we have enough time to let you know and notice the meetings. I'm fine either Friday. day, 20, yeah. but I want to get it done, because then we got Tallahassee the we next have, week. No, I'm and, with you. So. I'm with you on that. So. OK, so uh, what is um, our homework? Numero uno. Land use. Future land use. The last one. Yeah, and the, uh, and the introduction element, too, which we're adding to the plan since we're separating the, out the goals and objectives and policies. So how long are we going to give them to respond for the 27th? Which one, Jim? I will check uh, in with uh, Lakeisha. Uh, number one in your notebook. Have her go ahead and Or, or no, it's, it, uh, it's the four tomorrow. number one, I guess. It's, okay. it's called the introduction. And, um, I think she usually likes to Maybe give a day or so one. for people to respond. It was okay. That was the one that I put in, th that I used Melbourne Beach as the you example. One day? <laughs> got some flack no. for that. I'm just, I'm just yeah, really us. realistically yeah, trying to figure out if we can't get it. Then we know we've scheduled... Then on the 27th. We'll have this to you all by the end of the week. <clears throat> we will. You'll have this well, date resolved. Uh, uh, that's a new that. element that's uh, okay. just, just kind of a general so thing. So if they don't do it, then we do it on that Monday. Oh, that's this correct. one. Okay. Yeah. And that's right. The main thing in there is to, if you want to have a an overall okay, community that's character that's we have a review goal on for the, the whole 20th. town, that's, that's what I'd like you to look yes. at. But we don't have to have that in there, but if you want to. <laughs> okay. And, and I do have one more my question. My daughter will love me. The, uh, the future land use element, in my mind, is the one that could generate the most discussion. And um, <clears throat> uh, staff has already made some potential uh, recommendations for, uh, for changes. Um, uh, uh, I'd like to be able to give you that version rather than have just the blank version so we can uh, hopefully get through all that stuff in one meeting. Um, or yeah, email it to us and also give us okay. printed copies at the meeting. I think that worked out good being able to kind of okay. compare um, them. I have a question for Elizabeth regarding the future land use. Mm -hmm. That is the one that we can remove that special. Please, that we will let's make sure we have all the sure. correct mm -hmm. verbiage for that at the next meeting. I have a silly question. So we have a town council meeting on the 7th. 
March 7th. Aren't they going to be in Tallahassee? Yeah. Yes. We need to get that date. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, Tallahassee. I'll, well, I'll stay and good do the meeting. Ball. You go to Tallahassee. Who all's going to Tallahassee? I am. All right. Just you and I? All right. The three I'm going to get a buggy. The three you need to be here for a quorum. I'm not allowed to miss. <laughs> you won't have to push me. Oh, do you remember where we got the buggy from last time? No, I don't. Um... So while you're talking about that, I might as well tell you Check that Mr. Book's office now. is arranging for... Look, I paid for it. Um, ...a meeting, um, you know, a get acquainted meeting with whoever goes to Tallahassee. Um, kind of give an overview of what's going on and get a few appointments scheduled for you. Um, and also to, um, I think that they might actually have someone help you get in and out of, you know, they, they will escort you around Tallahassee. So, so hold on. <clears throat> I'm a little confused because in the past we've had all these appointments made for us. And that we would go with our lobbyists from door to door, you know, for the, um, to the representatives or the senators that we felt would be on board with what we were asking for. My great apologies. That is what I was just saying they plan to do. You will have a meet and greet as you get there before Palm Beach County Days start. Palm Beach County Days are packed with a number of meetings, so they are scheduling around Palm Beach County Days to escort you to the various offices that you just mentioned and, you know, to do anything else that you hope that they will do. So I'm also scheduling vir an opportunity for each of you to have virtual meetings with them. Before virtual you meetings? Yes, you can have a virtual meeting before the actual trip to Tallahassee. So if there's any particular concern that you have. Oh, virtual meetings with the lobbyists. With the lobbyists so that you could go over whatever particular concern or person you wish to speak with while you're there. Uh, for instance, they told me that they will not they do not recommend putting in the facility request, the facility appropriation request, because they researched six years of appropriations, and there have not been any given for any public works facilities in six years. They said they wanted to put everything towards the water and try to get water money for us. But I also mentioned to them is there any possible way that we can get a conversation going on about rural designation? So I don't know if that's something you want to ask. You might have your own list. So, um, Robert, <clears throat> so I was told that, like, on the 7th, it starts at 4. And then it seems like the 8th is the only day we're going to be doing the door-to-door, -door, and then we're leaving on the 9th. Well, I think some of you are going to be there earlier than that, and that's what that we're is doing right all now. what I was offered from Cherie. So, is there a reason I should be there earlier than the the seventh? Because I don't have an itinerary. I don't have anything at the moment. We don't have anything more than the Palm Beach County Days itinerary. If you don't have that, I can resend that to you. But I'm working with Mr. Book's office, and Cherie is also working with Mr. Book's office to coordinate your arrivals and the meet and greet and the meetings so around Robert, the League of City schedule so that there's no conflict. What were you told? When are you going? I looked at the email for Palm Beach County Days. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I booked that. But yeah, that's what we're well, using. What did you I'm leaving book? two days early to go visit somebody. Oh, else. you've got other okay. stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I've got. But you're there for the seventh and the eighth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely. All right. That's mm -hmm. what I want to know because I'm probably going to fly up and fly back. Okay. I just want to make sure that I'm mm -hmm. there when needed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're going to meet you upon arrival, and. You know, give you an Am I getting a limo from the airport? Well, I don't know about that, but if you want me to see about arrangement, 
can. Oh, that's okay. I'll Uber. <laughs> Don't need a limo. Oh, I still haven't signed up for Uber yet. Well, you should do that tonight because there's a 50% discount for Valentine's Day. Oh, well, there is. <laughs> well, my wife uses it. But. We have a meeting on the 21st, Tuesday. We do have a meeting on the 21st. When Tuesday. is the anticipated agenda coming out? For this. So nice of you to ask. Um, it's a concern of Miss Lenahan's and mine because, you know, we have a lot. Well, you know, yesterday was the Super Bowl. Let's put it this way. We're in the third quarter. <laughs> Just had that fumble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in answer to your question, hopefully Wednesday. But that okay. means nobody can talk to either one of us <laughs> for the next two days at all. The no calls, no emails, nothing. Is our paving project on the street? Well, we knew you would ask that, and we have a complete um, invitation to bid, and we're making some final changes to it tomorrow, and we have a calendar for it that brings it to your April 4th agenda, and that has included the three-day protest period. And by the way, the way a protest here works. All right. Town manager gets three days. Elect a new days. mayor and approve paving. Okay. <laughs> Big meeting. A meeting. Oh. Wait, April. can you please repeat the protest thing? Yeah, the way the protest period works in our procurement manual is that any bidder that feels that they were treated inappropriately they have three days to protest to me the town manager I have three days to reply to them and additionally if um, I don't feel comfortable with it and I want to move it on I can give it to the special magistrate who can then take my three days and turn it around so April 4th and the date that we have planned to open it gives us one day breathing room in the schedule to make it to the agenda. I know that that was a concern of, use, of yours, so I wanted to make sure we addressed it. And that's April what? April 4th. And do you have uh, enough people for the 23rd meeting, February? I will have to check on that tomorrow, but I certainly hope so. Um, in fact, that's a week and two days away. Who's so meeting on the 23rd? PCB. We've, we've actually, we, this last meeting we had four. The meeting prior to that we had three. We still had enough, so. What's the time of that meeting supposed to be? Uh, Jim, is it five or six? I always forget. It was five the last time. Uh, the, the, uh, the planning zoning? Yeah, five? I think, yeah, it is five. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, we've all got a different number. <laughs> Skinny or five, we'll have, you know, refreshments ahead. And Are we having a preview meeting for the um, uh, town council 21st? No, we are not. Okay. And we're, we're getting here at. It's six. President's Day. All right. Oh. It's Monday's a holiday. Monday's a holiday. Okay. The 20th. Mm -hmm. And did we give. I know this This was brought up at our meeting. Um, Laura, you said you wanted to think about um, us doing just one meeting a month? No. <laughs> but uh, are we meeting on the 22nd then, or since Monday is the President's Day? We're meeting on the 21st, Tuesday. Oh, okay. A regular council meeting. Okay. All right. At 6. Any yes. other comments? All right. Meeting adjourned. Thank right. you, everybody. Bye.